truly no games on PlayStation. There are no games on, on Xbox either, apparently. Consoles just don't have games anymore. Or games released on PC. I gotta collect, click my orm, collect my, uh, What's in the shop? I've been waiting because I've had 1,300 or like orms sitting in my or almost 1,400, but I did this 1,300 orms just sitting in this wallet thing. And I'm just like waiting for something cool to buy with it or something that like I'm going to use like a little cool little skin. I'm wondering, I'm wondering what they going to do. Like the next season, they said next season, they said after this season, it's going to be the last wipe they do, which is crazy to think of because I feel like the wipes are what bring people back. It's like, all right, I played a bunch. All right. We, we've been through this season. Okay. Time to wipe and you, you lose all your items and everything and you're back on an even playing field. And now it's all about basically like early game is all about like skill all skill all the time and then after that then it's like once you once certain people get like a ton a ton of guns and stuff like that i mean it's still skill but like they they have to worry a lot less about like losing their stuff i worry too much about losing my stuff in this game because i have so much stuff and i have stuff that i didn't even claim like in the in the fortuna pass they have all these things these things that say free they're guns and ammo and armor and I just never claimed any of them because I never needed to. I just have too much stuff and I'm always trying to like get rid of it by I'm going to I'm gonna just have to sell some of the stuff. I'm always trying to get rid of it by like going down on the planet and losing it. <laughs> I don't understand how people have a whole ass set up in a console. Full desk, monitor, chair, streaming laptop. All to just play on an xbox or playstation because some sometimes like i feel like sometimes it's it's nice to have a console and just play and just pop in a game and play it right well now it's popping a game install it and play it but i mean there's less there's less stuff to to deal with with a console like you don't have to worry about like you're you lost some frames so you gotta you gotta change all these settings and stuff like that to get your stuff to work properly or a little more or you're gonna min max your your settings to get those extra little frames to come out and stuff like that so i don't know there's different pros and cons to pc and pros and cons to console like i have a ps5 is literally sitting right here but i don't like i don't like playing the only reason i don't like playing on ps5 that much is because when i want to stream something I gotta like set it up and I have to I have to pull up Parsec and I have to put my screen over here. Like if I had two if I had two screens, I might stream some stuff on PlayStation more. Like not more than PC, but I would just do it more because it would be easier for me to just flick the PlayStation on and just play it on one of my monitors and move my main screen to the other monitor or something. You know what I mean? Like it's just it's just uh it's just easier to stream stuff on PC. Plus some people some people have like they say you have a streaming if they have a streaming laptop or if they have a, a if they have a computer that can't really handle like heavy gaming. Like some people that they can't handle heavy gaming, they might be able to stream stuff cuz you'd be surprised at at what you like don't need to stream. People be having a computer that costs just as much as their main PC to stream, having a crazy ass graphics card in it to stream as a, as a secondary computer. For what? For what? I don't even dislike controller. I just rather plug it into my computer. Yeah, I mean, I don't like playing shooters on controller. I like playing other stuff on controller, just not shooters. But Call of Duty, Call of Duty supports mouse and keyboard on console specifically call of duty and fortnite i don't know what other games do but call of duty and fortnite 
have full keyboard and mouse support, which is which is crazy. Um, and they've and they've had that they've had that support since PlayStation Four. Um, Fortnite is the first that I've seen that had full keyboard and mouse support on a console, and I found that out by accident because like I had my wireless dongle for my keyboard and mouse because it's just one, and it was plugged into my PlayStation, and I use it for the keyboard like my wireless keyboard and I bumped the mouse when I was playing Fortnite or my friend was playing Fortnite on my PlayStation. Cause during that time I wasn't into Fortnite and I didn't really know what Fortnite was. I didn't know what BRs were, but he was like, yo, this Fortnite game's kind of fun. So he was playing it at my house and he was playing on, he was playing Fortnite on my PlayStation and I bumped the mouse and it moved the, the cursor. It moved the, uh, his aim. And I was like, I was like, the mouse works on Fortnite? I was like, that's cool. But it didn't matter because I was like, if I'm going to play Fortnite, I'm just going to play it on my computer. But he just downloaded it on PlayStation because he had it on his PlayStation. And he was like, I'm just going to play Fortnite. And I was like, whatever, man, I don't care. Is it like COD? I've never, I've never seen it. Are you sure you've never seen me play the, the cycle? I I think I told you to, I told you to get this game. I told you to get this game. No, it's not. I'm not even going to say it's like DMZ. I'm not even going to say it's like DMZ. I, I'm disappointed in DMZ. I definitely told you to get this game. You should. Yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll play it. It's have you ever seen Tarkov? Okay, so it's the same premise. DMZ is pretty lame. Like, for if if you were if you're a person who's never ever played a extraction shooter or haven't seen what extraction shooters are, I think DMZ is more fun for those people. But coming from the cycle and playing DMZ with what I thought was gonna be like the cycle or like Tarkov, like a lot of other people thought, it's boring. It's it's not it's not really that fun. Like it's it's much much less to deal with, and I guess that's for like the casual crowd. But like I really was hoping that like like this type of game is going to be the upswing in in those games. Dark and darker. I wasn't gonna play Dark and Darker until tons of people started playing the beta, and I missed the I missed out on the beta. But I was like, since tons and tons of people are playing it, it making it a good a good reason to pick it up and play, especially when it comes back and it's a good game to stream all the streamers are playing it and it's and it's it's fun this game is free this game is 100 percent free it hey, was up jello yet another reason to nerf genji what i think you're in the wrong chat Are these, I think I got bots in my TikTok chat. Oh wait, let me, let me dump all this stuff. In. How much space do I have? I do have some space. Uh, dump this. I need to put all this stuff back. Zero system CPU. How many zero system CPU do I have? Cyclist free, causing Genji players to get free practice. <laughs> Therefore, he needs a nerf. <laughs> All right, Boba. Right, so check it out. This is what this is what you this is what you normally do. So you're gonna get a whole bunch of stuff. Most of the they're gonna get a whole bunch of stuff at the beginning of the game, right? Like when you first log in. You're gonna get like a, a a bunch of like white gear, maybe some green gear, I think, and it's gonna be like a bunch of like pistols and like shotguns and stuff like that. You arm yourself, and then you grab your ammo. So like we need a we need a we need shotgun ammo. We need. Uh, I'm gonna be real sloppy about this drop. I'm not. I'm not even gonna try. I'm not gonna try to win this drop, but I'm not gonna be so sloppy that I die as soon as I land. Um. 
so okay then we, we're gonna grab that or we got a we got a green vest equipped we got a green helmet equipped we got a white bag equipped um we're gonna get some some uh get one of these i'm gonna grab a green green med kit i don't need a green med kit uh all these items down here are like materials so like everything in the game has a use for something sometimes you'll have to deliver some stuff somewhere on the planet sometimes you'll have to uh use it for like uh crafting so crafting new items sometimes you have to use it for missions um and then you there's three factions so you can level up the factions by doing the missions there's the Korolev over there there's the ICA which is over there and then there's what's the, what's the third one I forgot the third one's name ICA and uh uh Osiris Osiris is over here right ICA Osiris and Korolev is uh over there um each one of them gives you a bunch of different missions you have to do so like if I go here I'll probably move my 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 objectives so Oh, it's low enough that I don't have to move. And you, I can't even, you can't see it. I switched off of it. So it doesn't matter. It's low enough so that I don't have to move it. But like, um, gonna go to bed, have a good rest of the stream. All right, man. Yo, I'll definitely play. I'll definitely play some of this tomorrow. And you can, and you can see how sometimes we'll get, uh, you know, do some people dirty. I've never played duos with anybody in this game. I've never played duels with anybody in this game and it'll be nice to play duels in this game. So it'll, it probably will be a little harder, but at the same time, and we'll, we'll get fights. But the thing about this game, well, I mean, you, you've seen Tarkov before you die, you lose all the stuff on your body, unless, you know, you have stuff in your safe pockets. The whole point is to like level up your, your quarters. So like you have a, you have a, they have like a system over here where you run over to your quarters. Like I really, really like this game, um, and I just play it from time to time. And you can, you can come over here. You, there's a generator. You get your, but you have to level it up to even get this in the first place. But you get an arm generator. It generates 0.46 arm per hour. That's like the premium currency stuff. Uh, so you can get it for free. If you level it up, you get enough of it to generate. Come back and um, every, you know, before it fills up, uh, you know, collect it. You get free premium currency then you can do k you get k marks which is the in-game currency and um oh wait let me let me move my let me move my uh camera gonna this to here and okay so yeah so you got k marks your k mark generated with your in-game currency supply crate uh, you get every it refreshes every 24 hours when you collect it and it gives you some of it just gives you some weapons armor and backpacks and stuff like that so that you have stuff all the time so like if if you ever run out of gear which this is the mistake that i made i played so scared that like i have too much gear and i never run out of gear so like you could play a little more aggressive and uh go ham a little bit more lose your stuff and not care right um sometimes you might need some of the stuff that you have so you do want to play a little more slow and methodical um and try to get away and also the other thing there's proximity chat so you can talk to people so you can you can do stuff like like as a solo player um when i when i drop in with a lot of other solo players now like the meta the meta of proximity chat is if somebody says something to you or like they're like hey wait i'm friendly don't you can stop shooting at them or whatever but don't let your guard down because like some people will try to do you dirty where they'll be like oh yeah man i'm friendly or whatever and they might shoot you in your back like literally stab you in your back um sometimes people might want to work with you they might like, yo let's let's work together let's go do this thing let's go you know finish this mission i gotta do this mission or let's go team up and get that and kill that guy or whatever and like you know y'all team up but you know never let your guard all the way down unless you come in with a duo if you come in with somebody then you can trust them. But if you don't come in with that person, leave your guard up. If you say something and you're like, hey, 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 wait, and then 
they don't say anything back to you and they're still looking at you, I'm gonna kill him. Like, I'm, I'm gonna kill him. Because who knows? Who knows what he's thinking in his head and not saying anything? You know what I mean? But most of the time, if you say something, you can you can get out without, you know, having a problem. You be like, oh hey, wait, I'm just trying to do this mission, I'm trying to get this mission done. And then sometimes people will be like, hey, hey, don't shoot at me. It's like if say if you're shooting at somebody. Like I'm a, I'm a shoot first. It's basically a shoot first. Ask questions later. So you shooting at somebody? You're like, hey, wait, I'm friendly, or wait, I'm just trying to get this mission done. Stop shooting at them as a courtesy, right? Keep your guard up. And it's like, yeah, I just want to finish this mission. It's like, all right, cool. And then they go about their business, and you go about your business because you usually you probably are going two different ways. And then like you continue on with whatever you was doing, and then you know you handle your next encounter whatever whatever way. But like this shit is really really cool. Wait, the goal is to finish a mission or kill everyone? No, the goal is to finish, do missions, collect things if you need to collect things, drop in, maybe just collect some stuff if you want to collect some stuff, and then extract and get out. So you don't have to kill everybody. You don't have to be the last alive. You just have to make it out. So, I'm, uh, uh, and there's no time limit. So like this, this game has a different extraction mechanic than like any of the other extraction shooters, even Tarkov. Because in Tarkov, it counts down and it puts everybody in the map at the same time. Same thing for DMZ. It puts everybody in the map at the same time. And then you can leave when you want to leave, but like there are no, there's nobody else that's going to be like injected into the map. They start, it starts a match. And then I guess that, that server or that map is deleted or start over when once everybody is gone no oh yeah because i forgot in dmz there's a storm so they they have they push you the storm pushes you to one final helicopter if you don't get to an extraction there's one final helicopter that you can get on and get out if you don't get off on that one it's game over you die i forgot that about dmz i'm not sure about how it works in tarkov but i think you can stay there until um until everyone leaves i think but in this game it puts you in an active war zone pretty much. So like you'll you'll be dropped into a map that already has people there. And then people will leave and come and like people will leave and, and and land um throughout the match or throughout the 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 server. And then like the server stays up for about a certain amount of time and then after after that certain amount of time it'll be like you have to leave. Yeah, like the server is getting ready to reset and if you don't leave you'll lose your stuff. So like, I think it's cool that it puts you in an active place because sometimes it might be damn near empty. It might not be like almost anybody on the map, but you don't know that. So you still got to play as if there are, that it's a full map of like 16 players or 24 players where depending on what map you land on. Like, it's really cool. Like, it's really cool. Why would they, why would they kill you? Because people will do you dirty. People will... People will do you dirty and, and take your stuff. So like the, the backpack that you have on, if you if you have a bunch of stuff in your backpack and somebody kills you, you lose all your stuff. Like you whatever's in your backpack is theirs to pick through. The only thing that saves, the only thing like they can take your backpack, they can take your armor, your guns, all your they can take the, the, the stuff in your backpack. You you're a loot box pretty much. The only time you can save any of your items, even if, if you die. Is if you put in your safe pockets right so check this out you see these little uh you see these little uh these weight these weight icons down here this one says 10. each i think each one of these is uh five yeah so it shows you how much weight is in the stack so i have seven pan like I, I can't carry seven weight in my safe pockets so i could put i could put one of those in my safe pockets now this is 5.1 out of 7 because i have this in here and i have this uh safe this this key card in here the key card weighs one point one excuse me point one uh money also weighs um i think money weighs point one like that yeah okay money weighs point zero zero one per uh currency so this is old currency it's not the actual money, um, but you can sell it to get the exact amount that it's worth. But you will need some of this for missions. 
so i don't sell all of it now because i needed some of it for a mission so like i keep some of it in uh in here uh if i need more of this old currency stuff for a mission i don't sell it all uh but it's the other thing is inventory management like keep keep your keep your stuff here these things like you can take these down to the planet and fill them up with data and as you fill them up with data they get to be more rare so like this this one will turn into a green one the green turns into a blue one and the blue one turns into an orange one so it's like common uncommon rare legendary and then the the orange one is worth the most and you just sell it for money so like this one is worth uh i forget how much this one's worth but i think the orange one is worth ten thousand. so that's how you know it's just different ways to earn money keeping keeping your inventory clean um keeping stuff out of there earning earning money keeping things to to make armor and, and equipment it's a lot it's a lot to, to the game but that's why whoops i didn't mean to click that it's a lot to the game and that's why i i like it over dmz so i'm gonna deploy i'm gonna deploy to fortuna i'm gonna be kind of sloppy with this drop just to show you what it's about i'm probably gonna die but that's fine they have an insurance system you can you save your stuff for insurance so if you die you lose your you lose your equipment You'll get it back you'll not not get the equipment back but you'll get the money back if you use premium insurance if no one picks up the item then you get the item back but if they pick up the item you only get the money back so sometimes you might be able to get your stuff back like you might be able to get a backpack back but you wouldn't put premium currency on a white backpack because who cares you could just buy one um but for other stuff like more expensive guns if you don't have the ability to like uh um just make them uh make a ton of them because a lot of people will have an inventory full of just guns like really good guns um so like if you if you like it, it becomes a point it, come, it gets to a point where it's like is it even really worth the premium the premium insurance because like if i die with a good gun somebody's gonna take it i'm not getting that gun back if somebody if somebody dies who has a better gun, they probably didn't put insurance on it. it. Doesn't matter. They'll just get the money back for it, and they can use that plus some other stuff to to make another one. Like, <laughs> so like it's a it's a like it's a it's a slow it's a slow paced game. Oh, wait, I gotta change my uh thing to the cycle. I had to change my Azron key binds to the cycle. So here's your here's your tool wheel. Here's your other tool wheel. Um wanna avoid like making noise. This is as a solo player. This is me playing as a solo player. As a as a duo, you might be able to run around and make a little bit more noise. Um These things die with one hit from your knife. But as a solo player, I play really like slow and uh and spyish. Usually, let's get out of the open. But you usually don't want to take fights with with. Usually, don't want to take fights with uh. It like like creatures if you don't have to. Basically, basically, play it like Valorant.
play like Valorant, you loot up, try to get out. The person here. Hey, 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 hey. You gonna try to kill me? Why, why are you trying to kill me? Can't be friends. Oh my god, bro! It was two people. It was somebody over the other side that I was like, yo, leave me alone. And then there's this one guy. I wish I wish I didn't miss my second shotgun shot. But yeah, so like this is what happened. This is the death screen. Uh my insurance payout is 9,850. So like um that'll that'll that's for all the stuff I have in insurance right here. So I'll get that back in the in the insurance payout thing, the packet insurance package. And then like you lose all the stuff that's in here, you lose all the stuff that's here, and then like my safe pocket stuff is I still have it. So that get Uh give me a minute, I gotta go to the bathroom. But like Yeah, give me a minute, I have to really pee really bad. I also, I also messed up and hit my, I messed up and hit my whistling button. My, um, 
I, I I hit the button too hard and I hit my quest button. And it brought my quest thing up on the screen. I'm like, God damn it. And I killed the guy and then I end up getting blown up by a grenade. He started tossing grenades. But then, okay, so this is, these are, these are some of the missions that I had. Uh, but these, the mission progress stays. So like if you say, for instance, uh, you have ball bearings, right? I, had, I need to get ball bearings. I got to deliver ball bearings. I need two more ball bearings. But these three ball bearings I have are in my inventory. They're not, they weren't on my body. But like if I found ball bearings, I would put at least one of them in my safe pockets because I think I can only carry one. In my safe pockets, if I put the second one in, it's not gonna fit. I try to put the second, it's not gonna fit. But uh, then I would probably lose one, like for, if I died, and I'll keep one. Then I will have another one. So then I'll put that in my my inventory. Um, eliminate prospectors using an Osiris weapon. Uh, right here. I this is I just finished this. Well, not finished it, but I still have to enter the East Collection uh, Point loot room on Bright Sands, which is this is probably the easier of these two things but i have to do both of them finish this mission and then you get these rewards uh and then i have what else i have down here to do uh hunt rattlers using a core lev weapon i still have to do this i didn't have a core lev weapon um each each faction has their own weapon types um but all but there's like you know some weapons are just you know better than others there's like a a, a weapon meta um Cloudy Veltasite. This is something that you have to mine. Optic glass. You can find that places in like the laboratory and stuff. Um, you can enter the power facility loot room. Entering the loot rooms is usually like a puzzle where you have to like go pick up like a battery thing from somewhere and then carry it to somewhere else and put it in. And then like you just think you just go get the pieces, put them where they're supposed to be, and then it opens up a door. And you can go into the door. And so, like, um, I don't really do those. Often I only did maybe once or twice because I'm a solo player. So like, it, it, like everything makes a lot of noise. Like so like uh, that's a that's a other big thing is like you gotta listen for for noises and know what noises are what and you know where you know they are and all that stuff. Same thing with like Valorant except Valorant has, I guess, I guess Valorant has a lot of noises too because all their different you know utility and stuff sounds like. The graphics are really nice. I really do like the aesthetic of the game. Um, there's no, like, it's one of those games where it looks really good and there's no other game like it. Like, I like it more than Tarkov, like, because, number one, because it's free. Um, but I just like the, it looks better. Like, the, the everything's so vibrant. And, like, the, I don't know, everything is just right. The guns are just right for me. I like them. I like the way they look. I like the way, like, some of the, like, skins and stuff look. It looks like a good premium free to play game, like a premium like quality free to play game. It doesn't look bad. Like it doesn't look bad. And then here it tells you it tells you if you were around someone or like what you, what how much damage you received from people. Um if you were if you were in proximity of somebody like and you didn't see them or if you we're talking to them on proximity chat. Maybe this person didn't hear me. Damage received, 87. Bye. Oh, wait. This person... This person couldn't hear me. This person couldn't hear me. Because usually it'll say that you... Proximity chat or it'll say voice proximity... Proximity chat or something like that, I think. Like, if you're talking to somebody and somebody else hears you, it'll tell you that. So I don't think this person, either this person has their chat thing off and they didn't hear me. And that's probably why they kept shooting me. Because I was like, yo, okay, you know, you want to be friends? Let's, how about, you, how about you don't shoot me? Oh, well, let's not do that. And then the other boy tried to sneak up behind me. That's crazy. Listen, I got to explain all these things to you. I have to explain all these things to you before you play the game. Because if I don't, then you will be lost. I'm telling you. <laughs> yes, that's why I told you I want to put you to play the game. I told you to get this game a long time ago. Probably around the time that we started playing Super Heat. 
it was either it was either after we were playing Super People already or before that. And I was like, yeah, you should download the cycle. I definitely told you to play this game. I'd be telling a lot of people to play this game that I think would get a kick out of playing this game. Sometimes people listen to me, sometimes they don't. But nobody listens to me about the cycle. It's the, it's a Tarkov for people who don't want to play Tarkov. <laughs> or don't want to pay for Tarkov. But these are these are my missions. Hunt rattlers with a core level up. I need to get a core level up. Alright, this is a core level up. This scrapper core level. Up. Guns have attachments. We'll just go with white armor. Go with white armor and uh Do I have enough to make some um Make some more stems. I need to see if I can make some more green stems. Where's the, the, the crafting thing? Can you craft like it's it's not the same way. They do have a crafting system, but it's not like super people crafting. So like the crafting system in this one, you do here in the in the thing. So like you can craft backpacks, you can craft, um, you unlock different different crafting things when you after you finish certain missions. Um, so like you have to progress, you progress in the game by doing the missions. Um, these are these are the only three weapons that you can craft. Wait, no, 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 wait. Yeah, these are the only three weapons that you can craft. The other weapons come from the factions. You can buy them from the factions. And you have to unlock them by progressing the faction. By doing their missions. Um, consumables. I can make some stems here. I have the stuff to make the stems. In my inventory. I can do hit that. Started printing that. It'll take that 2 minutes and 54 seconds. Or 3 minutes or whatever. Um... I can make strong med kits. This gives you five green stems for the what you for what you put in. Um, you can blue stems. Oh, I can make blue stems. I'm gonna make some blue stems. Uh, after after I make that uh, armor attachments some white attachments and white guns and white armor you can buy from the shop so that yeah. um i gotta grab my my ammo ammo and uh i gotta get some more shotgun ammo Me some shotgun ammo. Then I guess I'll just I guess I'll just take that with me. What do I actually need to do? See, I actually need to something that I think I can finish. Find the SOS sign. Let me turn this in to ICA. I did this last time I was on. I just never turned it in. How can the ICA help? So, 130 FP two ICA scripts. You're gonna need these ICA these scripts. There's ICA scripts, there's Korolev scripts, and there's uh, whatever the other faction, oh, Osiris scripts. 
and you're gonna need those to for help with leveling up your your uh your apartment thing your quarters he really needs that done yeah, there's there's a couple of npcs in the game um they're pretty much just here for the purposes of being shop come back anytime each each one has like this is where you get your you get your missions from so like i finished all of the civic duty ones audio files uh this is enter the water facility loot room all these are like enter loot room ball bearings i gotta find two more ball bearings and then get out actually the market the shops are are here um you can the weapons i think the weapons are the most important thing that are here in the shops so like this one unlocks at faction level seven mine is at four for ica um i do more stuff for osiris right now so my my stuff is i think i think i'm like level eight for osiris or something Let's see yeah, no level seven i'm at level seven for osiris level eight um i get i get phasic lancer i get access to the phasic lancer i can buy that Cost twenty four thousand, but I can like buy a phasic lancer. I have one, but I don't. I haven't used it yet. Um, they have tons of, of weapons and stuff, different weapons to use. All right, let's. Uh, then there's Crescent Falls and there's Stars Island. Stars Island is the newest thing that they've added. Complete more missions. Uh, once a map is unlocked, you can return it in time. 12 prospectors on Thoris Island. It's a really small map. And this is like a, a very high, like hostile PvP map, I guess, because it's small. And uh, people definitely just go there and try to kill each other and take each other. So, like, I mean, but I'm sure you have to go there for missions. And that's the reason why. But, like, it's kill or be killed sometimes. So I put this in standard insurance, keep all this stuff in standard insurance. It costs me 1,566 for to pay for the insurance. And then if I die and lose my stuff, I get 7,115 back. After after this drop, after this drop, um, probably gonna I'm gonna hop off, get a little get a little tired. Okay, so hunt creatures using a sniper rifle. I didn't bring a sniper rifle. Deliver pale ivy blossoms, and hunt rattlers. Yeah, I gotta find rattlers and hunt the rattlers with this gun. Probably don't have any attachments on this weapon. So running, running will, walking, walking isn't completely silent like it is in Valorant, but walking, people can hear you from like less far away than if you're running. It's like, it's like a small ring if you're walking and a large ring if you're running, if you know, if that makes any sense. But I just got to find Rattlers. Like even if I die, like if I kill, if I kill some rattlers, and then don't make it out, at least I'll have the mission done. Like you don't lose your mission progress. So these birds, if you hear these birds, if the birds see me, they make a whole lot of noise and fly up in the air, and they're like alarms. They're like area alarms. It's not necessarily terrible to get see. 
get seen by them but you want to avoid it if you can it just tells people that oh it's somebody right there and you and you can if you don't get if you don't get seen by them you can kind of use them to your advantage Oh, somebody is somebody's doing data drives. Somebody's doing data drives. Remember those things I told you I was like, you got to fill them up with information. That's what that sound is. It's super loud. And it tells everybody you're just there's somebody there. That's 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 the data drive thing. The rattlers are, uh, uh,
hear somebody out. That's the data uplink thing. Put the little data uplink thing in that little red area thing right there. And then it starts making a whole lot of noise and you gotta wait for it. Where's my extract? It's right north of me. This game is all this game is this game is a lot of game sense. It's game sense the game. Like somebody's. I don't know where though. You, you gotta put them down silently. We'll get this stuff. All this loot laying around. thing right there is a rattler which means i'm gonna have to shoot it how many more do i have to kill let me check my let me check my um voice chat okay my my thing is set correctly I, ha I have to shoot this thing. That makes a ton of noise. I need four more rattlers. I just leave my on the side. 
Okay, storm, storm incoming. Storm incoming. So, the storm. You got five minutes. Once it tells you storm incoming, you got five minutes to get to an extraction point, right? And this is where it says it's different than the other games where you can stay down here during the storm. You can run around in the storm if you want to. And there's certain stuff you can only get while the storm is active. And it also it might make it easier for you to do some things because most people will leave and a lot of people won't want to run around in a storm. Some people will, some people won't. And then when the storm is over, I think the storm lasts like five minutes or something like that. But once the storm is over, it, it you can you can extract again. But once the, while the storm is active, you can't extract. So my my extraction is over here. There's another rattler. Rattlers always shoot in a straight line. Why would you run away from the storm? Sounds like a good thing. Oh, we'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm going to stay in the storm. I'm going to stay in the storm. It can kill you. If you're outside, it can kill you. If you don't keep moving. And, and, lightning, and lightning strikes usually where players are so like a lightning might lightning might be striking it's repeatedly striking the top of a building and you know somebody in that building there's also other little events like uh like meteors meteors will fall out of the sky and then you can go like mine the meteor and they are and they give you some um really expensive stuff that you need Might be the media right there now. Yeah, did you see it? That's the meteors and the meteorites falling out of the sky. If you go over there, you can mine them. But you know, of course, everybody else can see where they're landing too. So, you know, sometimes it's risky, but depending on what you're with what, what MMR you're in, um, depending on what MMR you in, people might not go over there and, and, and you might be able to get them for free. I know I have a few of them. I've never really, I've never really been contested 
If somebody's there. Somebody's over that direction. See that you see the lightning so you can stay underneath something and the lightning won't strike you or you can keep moving around and doing stuff so i gotta go that way No, 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 no. The storm, it, the storm won't end the game. So like in, in, in DMZ, the storm pushes you to an extract point. And if you don't take the last extract point out, then you just lose. But this one, you can stay in the storm and stay on the planet. And, um, there's certain stuff that you can only get, but these lightning strikes, I'm not sure exactly how much damage they do to you. I really don't want to find out. I've never been hit by a lightning strike before. Um, it may kill you or it may um, leave you very low health. As long as you as long as you continuously move around you don't really have to worry about getting hit by it but you do have to worry about people See these green versions of these things? These you can only get in the storm. So I'll, oh. so I'll put those in my safe pockets to keep them.
kind of want to move around in here in case somebody's looking at you so they don't just hit you from standing still. Um, normally, I would have a smoke grenade. Normally, I would have a smoke grenade and uh, I'll throw the smoke grenade down right there and not like run directly in and just keep the and then that way they won't be able to see you while you extract and they would have to run up on you if they want to kill you because like people can snipe you from far away and then like your items will just drop on the ground as the thing um, lifts up in the air and leave your items on the floor. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this this game is this game is pretty sick. This game is pretty sick. Um mind you that that this game does wipe every season. Well, okay. This is the last wipe that's going to happen. That's what they said. Um Let's let's let me go watch the watch the the thing again. Okay, I've, I hunted all the rattlers. That's good. I finished the mission tonight. And uh, yeah, I mean, maybe I can post this as a video. Great. Awesome. So sometimes it'll be like this. Like we didn't run. We didn't. We weren't in proximity to anybody. Um, We weren't. Uh, We didn't fight anybody. So it'll say that you evacuated. It could have been somebody else on the map somewhere. It definitely was people on the map somewhere. But we weren't close enough to them for it to tell us. And we didn't talk to anybody. So it didn't tell us. And didn't fight anybody so it didn't tell us and that's why I like this game it's crazy because if this game is dying right say for instance there are only a hundred players playing this game which there are more players than that and usually people come back at the end at the beginning of a new season say for instance there's only a hundred players playing the game you don't know whether you don't know whether they're in your map or not and then like sometimes you know somebody will land like you'll hear you'll see the ships land that have people in them so like you might hear a, a a pod drop and you and you look to the sky you can see where it landed so like you know that's a person and then like you'll see like evac you'll see evac ships like coming in and leaving so you'll know that you know that people are calling those evac ships and you know that people are leaving on those evac ships so depending on where you are, if you're near an evac ship that's leaving, you know that they're probably not anybody else in that area unless there was somebody else camping in that area looking to kill that person and they failed and they were still there. So like there's just a whole lot of stuff to, to know and think about. You got to die a bunch of times to learn that. I mean, or you cannot die a lot and just try to figure out how to sneak around and get your loot and uh, get out and sneak around, get your missions done and get out. Um, some of the missions make you have to kill a player. Um, I, I, yeah, I kill, I did that once. I think I just did that mission in the last drop I did. This game is, this game is pretty cool.